this is the Sagittarian uh, love reading for um, the month of um, October I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful like shares and support so okay ladies and gentlemen I was doing the love reading but I had to take a break so I'm sorry for the lateness because I had to take a break and thank you so much for being here um thank you for the likes and share please share 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 these videos these love readings are um free so please share these readings okay um Sagi, let's see what's coming out for the sagittarian sun moon and rising sign in love um there is three message and a message for the blonde people who are married there could be a divorce coming up so there is a message for blonde people who are married there could be a divorce that is coming up okay it could be the ending of your divorce or there is the energy of a divorce that is coming up some of you could be um, because the divorce comes at the end it would be that you're getting okay so whatever the issues and the situation is ladies and gentlemen I'm putting them back in the deck and see what is coming out uh, um, for you guys there is a lot that is going on so um, be aware because but it's coming up as divorce um, in love for you Sagittarians okay all right angels cupids um, angels of love come in and see what is coming out okay Sagittarius Sun Moon Horizon sign what we have we have fun times coming in for you Sagittarians okay that's good then we have fun times for the young people these are people between the ages of 18 and 25 with your soulmate and twin flame is coming in that is wonderful then we have some blockage with fun time for some people we're going to be looking and seeing where those obstacles are they are third-party relationship you men are in love triangles you men are in love triangles I'm seeing twin flame some of you could be connecting with your twin flame and soulmates okay here we are um, past love situation that is transpiring there are past love situation twin flames are coming in I'm saying that a lot of you are connected in love triangles with twin flame and soulmate some of you are definitely going to be getting pregnant if you were hoping to get pregnant I'm seeing um, love people are traveling to um, connect with past love um, whatever is happening people are um, traveling to connect with past love I'm seeing a lot of dating is going on okay really a lot of dating is going on there is just so much dating that is going on a lot of people are um, trying to find the right person so a lot of you are in um, twin flame relationships but these relationships these twin flame relationships are a lot of love triangles okay karma situation with travels um, with um, people overseas and it's going to affect the blonde people and red hair people and the energy of marriage a lot of you are going to be dating people and finding out that they are part of, you're going to be ending up being married to these people okay so what is happening and what is transpiring is that I'm seeing a lot of you are having a lot of fun times connecting with people in love triangle so it could be group sex um, you know changing partners sex and that sort of a thing but one of you is going to be getting pregnant so whoever out there that is in group sex partner in love triangles having multiple partners you're good you're definitely going to be getting pregnant okay I'm seeing issues with people with past relationships so the ex could be coming back you you could be working out stuff that is happening and transpiring so the ex is coming back you could be working out past life issue but what is happening for you Sagittarians is that most of you are going to be meeting your twin flame or soulmate some of you are dating these people some of you are going to be um, there is a block between you and your twin flame whoever 
um, this is there is a block between you and your twin flame some of you are have met your twin flame but they're overseas they have children and family um, some of you have met your twin flame some of you are wondering if that was a twin flame relationship yes it was they're overseas they're having uh, they have their family and everything and you don't want to get involved in that situation so I'm seeing this month that you're going to be thinking yo you know or you're going to be expressing this to them and said hey I know you're my twin flame but you know you have your family you need to move on um, you know I don't want to be the one to get involved a lot of you are going to be finding out your that your twin flame was actually your ex yes okay some of you are really going to be finding out that your twin flame is actually your ex past love is coming in and um, these twin flame are really turning up because twin flame is basically the center these twin flames are turning up it's coming back into your life and it's how you're going to be dealing with these twin flames but your uh, month is that your twin flame is here um, some of you are definitely going to be meeting your twin flame and soulmates okay so for you young people between the ages of 18 and 45 young male I'm seeing that there is a love triangle that is going on be careful because um, there your love triangle they're going to be finding out that you're lying and um, if you're a young man between the ages of uh, um, say um, 18 and, and 30 they're going to be finding out that you they're in a love triangle with you one of the partners is going to be finding out that you're in a love triangle and you know and I've always said this to people um, if you weren't meant to have two relationships don't hurt the other person then keeping the other person on string and knowing that you want to be with someone else because that is just hurting another person and maybe you could have ended a relationship in a positive way and the relationship is not going to be handed in a positive way because you have not been very honest in this relationship and I'm seeing a lot of young men yeah um, and this is for the young men under 25 years old so you could be 18 18 and 25 I'm seeing you in a lot of love triangles that is going on between the energy of 18 and 25 there's a lot of love triangles that is going on so if you are between the age of 18 and 45 the love triangles are coming up you're having a lot of fun but you got to be careful because it's coming up okay yeah separation is coming in so if you are between the ages of 18 and 25 your other partner is going to be finding out about what you have been doing and um, they're going to either block you or you're going to be separated so I'm seeing some women or some partners saying hey no it's not happening and they could be blocking you and this other person time away from your partner is on the horizon separation time away from your partner is on the horizon let your friends help you some of you are looking for your twin flame soulmate I'm seeing some of you are ready to begin in a family ask your friends to connect you because most of the times your twin flame come via 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 like you go to a party or someone invite you out it comes via via so I'm seeing this coming up past love and obstacles keep an open mind some of you are in um, a triangle a love triangle and there is someone from a past lifetime that is coming in and it's not your type but this person could be the one for you not knowing that some of you are in a relationship that is unrequired love there's not enough um, attention or chemistry to keep a relationship going okay some of you are going to be getting pregnant so that you hold on to this relationship and it's just wrong don't do it don't do it don't do it it's just causing you a lot of karma and unwanted kids okay past life relationships are coming back because I'm seeing some of you traveling abroad to reconnect with someone from a past life because you think that this is their twin flame or soulmate so 
I am seeing people traveling abroad or maybe these people are from overseas, but you're reconnecting with these people and, and, and these, these could be foreigners. They could be people from different cultures, people from different, um, you know, background, but I'm seeing, um, that you have known each other. So some of you could travel or some of you went on, um, a business travel or a vacation and met someone. It is, uh, um, your twin flame. Okay. Then we have a heart to heart conversation. So, and you can see the energy coming up for this month because some of you are good. Some of you are pushing the, the, the veil. Some of you are uh, meeting the twin flame, the soulmate past, past time, past love is coming back past life. People are coming back because you have past love. Maybe you didn't share a lifetime with them, but they're coming back also. But I'm seeing on the down low is that some of you are looking. So the singles are looking, the singles are looking, um, people who are in relationships. Some of you are dating. Some of you want to have a child with someone you're dating. You need to have an art art conversation and said, Hey, I know we are just dating. You don't have to be responsible for this child, but I think you're a nice person and I want to have a child with you. Okay. They don't have to take responsibility. It's just a wonderful person. Get to know each other is here. And I'm seeing there's a karmatic situation. It's going to affect the blonde and red hair females. Um, there is a karmatic situation that is coming in for the blonde, um, for the blonde and um, the blonde and red hair female. Um, this is coming in because you need to get to know someone because you know you're kind of pushing this person off, but give them a chance because this is someone from a past lifetime. You're kind of pushing this person away and don't really want to connect with this person, but to someone from a past lifetime. So give this person a chance. Okay. So this is going to affect the blonde ladies, the red hair ladies. Okay. And this is of women of any age. Okay. So this is women of any age that is going to be affecting. Okay. So once you're red hair, blonde hair, it's going to affect you. Make the effort. So some of you are in a marriage that, um, you could be thinking, I don't know. Um, you know, it's as if you're giving up on this relationship, marriage or whatsoever, because it's as if, um, you know, you should make the effort. Either you should, you should definitely make the effort because it comes up in your reading. So whatever is going on in your marriage, make the effort because I'm seeing unrequired love. You need to have heart to heart conversations. So some of you are in relationships that are not healthy. This is coming up. This is showing up um, because there's deception in the relationship. There are love triangles where your partner is having feelings for someone else and it's kind of working so that they can be with that person, but holding on to you to keep you on a string. And if your intuition is telling you this, go with your intuition. Okay. Cause women intuition is always right about these things. And I'm seeing for someone out there, you're in a long-term relationship and whatever is happening is that you know, this is the, the, you need to have an art to heart talk with your partner. And I'm, I'm seeing you guys trying to have an art to heart talk with your partner, but it's as if they're like shunning you. Whenever people are shunning someone else and don't want to get to the subject is that they're lying to themselves and they're lying to other people around them. Okay. And someone out there, what is transpiring is that some one who is in a relationship, you are not married because the person doesn't want to get married. Okay. And the, the reason why the person doesn't want to get married is that the person doesn't want to have any responsibility. Okay. Um, some people and whoever this person is, is that, whoo. Okay. All right. Let me finish my message. Whoever this person is, is that they have a problem connecting with people. It's not that they don't want to get married. But this person is like, they're lying to themselves and they like to keep people on a string. Okay. So it is as if, um, whoever this person is, you have been in the, a relationship with a long time with this person. And I think this person just hold you in this relationship because they're comfortable because they can do whatever they want. But it's as if, um, 
Th their focus and it's as if they have another agenda and it's as if some of you women are feeling it and you know choose for yourself choose for yourself whatever it is choose for yourself because if that person is going to keep you on a string for 10 years or more and don't decide to marry to you they're not going to marry to you okay they're full of shit okay it's just as plain as that let it go go find someone end the relationship Ask the universe to send your soulmate or uh, because it's a month for your soulmate. So don't let anyone keep you in a relationship. After 10 years, if you can't decide whether or not you're going to be going forwards with someone or um, whether or not you are going to spend the rest of your life with someone, you are bullshitting the person or they're bullshitting you. Let it go. Let it go. It is so wrong. Why hold on on someone if you know the chemistry is not there? Why hold on on someone if they you know that you're lying to yourself because they're you want something else or you want someone else and you're holding on on a relationship because you're sure about this relationship but you're not sure about the other thing with someone else and you know something whenever people do these things God always have a way that they leave you for that person that person let them fall on their face because it's evil and it's wicked what they do so be aware of that okay so I'm seeing a little situation with family um, some of you could be going to um, cost of the battle where um, you know um, you have not get gotten paid for your child um, custody um, you haven't gotten paid for your child what is happening is that um, it's as if the universe and you're gonna be winning a cost of a battle for people out there definitely winning a cost of the battle okay so I'm seeing the magician comes up and you know for you young people be careful because young people between the age of 18 and 45 be careful 18 and 25 be careful because you're coming up in the reading and a separation is coming up because your partner is going to be realizing that you have been lying and they're going to be finding you out and realize that you have been lying so you people between the age of 18 and 25 your partner is going to be finding out that you're lying because the truth is going to be coming out I'm seeing that two persons, um, um, someone out there is blocked. You could, uh, you're blocked. Um, they have put up blocks between you and a relationship. Okay. Um, there is a block. I'm seeing some of you returning to a Capricorn person. Um, because this Capricorn person is someone from a past lifetime. This is the love of your life and also your soulmate. So some of you are turning back to a Capricorn person. Okay. With the energy of twin flames, I'm seeing people con communicating and saying, you know, I really think that you're my soulmate because of how I've been feeling. I see people coming out and, you know, communicating because they're feeling this energy. I'm seeing some of you young people need to heal your heart because you know that you weren't being very honest with your partner. It comes out and I see you are healing your heart. I'm seeing justice coming up and I'm seeing that some of you who had, um, you know, you haven't gotten any money, child custody battles, you're going to be winning. So if you're listening to this child custody battles, you're going to be winning. I'm seeing some of you working on a relationship, a long distance relationship, and this is going to be working out. So just keep on working on it. I'm seeing you successfully overcoming a situation with a past, someone of a past relationship. So I'm seeing some of you meeting a Capricorn. You're going to be going back to a Capricorn. That's where you want to be. Um, you could have been married to this Capricorn and somebody came between you. And you're going to be going back to this Capricorn. The Three of Cups is the Cancer. Some of you are connecting with the Cancers, okay? And what is happening and what is transpiring is that there's a Cancer that is, uh, some of you have met this person. This person is from a past life. You have had a past life with this Cancer. Some of you with this Cancer is, you need to get to know this person. You know, you're kind of holding this person off, but get to know this person. Some of you who are in a relationship with a cancer, who is married to a cancer in a relationship, you need to um, 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 uh, make the effort to work on your relationship. You really need to, to make the effort to work on your relationship, whoever is dealing with a cancer. If you're dealing with a cap, no, a Taurus, this is someone that you met overseas while traveling and 
you're going to be finding out that this person is also a twin flame or a soulmate. Some of you are dealing with a karmatic issue with a Capricorn and it, it is karma. Okay. This is karma with a young Capricorn. There is some karma things that some of you are working out. Eight of uh, some of you are really, um, need to work on your, um, this is a, you, you blondes and red hair are who are dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. It's a Taurus. You get to be now it's a Virgo. You got to be open up and try and make an effort to work on your relationship. Okay. A lot of you are, have been dating people and you are trying to protect yourself from these people. So some of you could be protecting yourself from, um, you know, you date someone, you went out to this person and it is not what you want, you know, and, and, and you're like holding this person off at bay, whatever is happening. And communication is key. If you are married, communication is key. Whatever is happening, whatever is to inspire, if you're married, communication is the key without communications ladies and gentlemen you are not going to be able to get through whatever is happening communication is going to be the key for your marriage in this month okay ladies and gentlemen i want to say thank you so much for being here please share 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 these love readings and I'm sorry that love readings was out, but I had a medicine problem and I could not show my face. <laughs> so, um, I love you guys. Namaste.